Welcome to a rather sunny Hungary where Lexus have brought us to drive the new RX 450H hybrid SUV. Now the RX 450H is all about the numbers. You'll notice it's now RX 450 and not RX 400. Uh, we've seen an increase in power by 10%, yet fuel consumption has gone down by 28%. You can get from 0 to 62 miles per hour in about 7.8 seconds. You can get 44 mpg, and the killer fact for me is a CO2 grams per kilometre figure of just 148, which is considerably below any other large SUV. To drive, it's typically Lexus, so you get a reasonably comfortable, if sometimes a little firm ride. Lexus has tried to give the new RX a sportier character, but you'd be hard pushed to notice. Performance is good, 0-62 takes just 7.8 seconds, but the handling's nothing to write home about, and there aren't huge amounts of grip from the semi-eco Bridgestone tyres. Inside it's all about the numbers again, there's no fewer than 10 airbags, there's a superb 15 speaker Mark Levinson hi-fi system and no end of other gadgets, many of which are controlled by this new remote touch system. It's Lexus's take on iDrive, in my view it's not quite as good. There's plenty of space in here, both in the front and in the back for kids. The boots are decent size too because the batteries are now under the rear seats. And quality is not bad, but here's the thing with quality. It's not quite as good as the likes of BMW and Audi. And also Toyota have up their game quality wise, so they're really pretty much as good as Lexus these days. Whichever RX model you choose, it will be lavishly equipped with some handy luxury features and plenty of safety kit that goes some way to making up for the high list price. The thing I've always liked about Lexus is in this car is no different, it's they're always so easy to live with, they're comfortable, they've got loads of gadgets and the service from the dealers is, is always superb. They come number one every year in the JD Power customer satisfaction survey. So should you buy one of these cars? Well, frankly, it's the running costs that really provide the key. 148 grams per kilometre means you'll be paying much less in company car tax than you would do for any other SUV, in fact, many other estates. And for that, it's got to be worthy of consideration when you throw in 44 mpg as well. That's another bonus. The car goes on sale from July. Prices are a little bit on the steep side, but Lexus promises that when you adjust the specification, it's far better value from other cars. But you'll still have to find in excess of £41,000 for the entry-level car.